I'm gonna show you how to backup and restore your files using the Windows built-in files history. So let's start right now. Files history is a Windows built-in feature which allows you to automatically save versions of your files on a secondary storage device. Before you start using file history to backup your files, you need to select the backup destination. You can select an externally connected drive, such as a USB drive, save to a drive on a network, or to a secondary local drive. In this video, I'm going to use drive D as the backup destination drive. Let's start by clicking Start, Settings, choosing Update and Security, and then clicking Backup. Now, click Add Drive and choose the backup destination drive. Click More Options to see what can be changed or adjusted. I'm going to change the backup frequency to every 10 minutes. You can choose any value from the list. Windows automatically adds all essential folders to the backup. These include your Documents folder, Downloads, Desktop, Pictures, and more. By clicking the Advanced Settings, we have access to additional options we can change. Among those options are the Files Restoration interface, the ability to select a different backup destination, the ability to exclude folders, and more. I chose a text file from my backed up documents folder. When I right click it and look at the previous versions, the list is empty. So let's see how a backed up copy is created. I'm editing the file, saving and closing it, and then running a manual backup. After running the backup, a version has been created. I can see it by clicking the previous versions on the file I just edited. If I click the Open option, the backed up version of the file will be displayed. Windows creates a file structure on the destination drive that looks very similar to the original location which is being backed up. Let's dig into it and find our backed up version. You can see this file structure here while I click the relevant folders to locate our file. As you can see, part of the file's name has the original name and extension. The backup date and time were added as part of its new name. Let's edit the file again and run a manual backup. And now, when I click the previous versions, I can see that an additional version of the file has been added to the list. Let's open both files from this interface to see the difference. And now, let's go to the backed up files location and find our new version of the file. We can see that it has the same name structure with a different time. I can open these files directly from here and place them side by side to see the difference. That's it for this video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing and clicking the like button under this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.